What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as the Swedish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we have got this force under Henrik Odegaard, supplemented by artillery from this nearby force to the south, to take the Prussian capital. Well, there's a whole bunch of cavalry inside, some scattered infantry units, and they've all taken a bit of a bit of depletion. But let's attack the city and let's take Berlin. Berlin's obviously very very valuable because it provides us a very uh, useful uh, replenishment center right in the center of Europe. It doesn't offer us any additional recruitment help because we can only recruit in Finland and in Sweden itself but still it will take Remember, it will put a big uh, quite a few it will put quite a big dent in the uh, Prussian army and it looks like over here is the better place to do it so let's drop my 12s back here should be able to fire to be honest let's just create a more generic front line I need to protect my howitzers as they advance plus our cavalry and I've got my sixes who will they will follow the line up so my twelves oh, and limber first of all get my line to advance because we need to well I'm in Napoleon the AI is a lot more aggressive at trying to knock out your um, artillery than the Iron Empire probably try to slot one in there So my 12s just take a here section of the wall and fire. We're not going to barrage yet. We're going to save the barrages for. I suppose we need to save them all. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. That's all it takes. Yeah, push the infantry up. Push the howitzers up. Because howitzers actually do a huge amount of damage uh, against the fort. So because Napoleon Total War crashes a lot, uh, I've actually fought this battle before. And I was probably 40 odd minutes into recording the episode. And then the episode crashed. There's a few giveaways though. You can tell there's a lot of cavalry and stuff hidden in here. Because as the units and horses naturally shuffle around, you can see it's pushing the general away. But my guns do, what, 1% damage-ish? Something like that per shot. Whereas howitzers, they do about 5% a shot. So if you want a fortress busting army, build howitzers. And that's also how I know they're much more aggressive at uh, knocking out your artillery. It's because I've seen it. Limber. Let's spread my line out. Should be okay to fire from about here. But as an example of what I'm talking about, let's get the howitzers to shoot at the wall specifically. So it's on 14%. There may be another barrage from my 12s inbound. 15% becomes. Oh, they're not even hitting the wall, they're aiming on top of the wall. No, hit the wall. They do about 5%. Quite a significant amount. What were those houses are shooting? They're shooting over here. Well, four percent damage on that section of the fort there against that whole section, actually. Get one howard to work on one on this section here, because ideally, yeah, there you go. They went from twenty-four to twenty-nine, thirty. 31. Every large jump will be the howitzers. So let's barrage. Get my sixes in the mix. And you can see that the enemy cav some of the enemy cavalry is starting to be deployed. I'm 
Okay, my six is working on the other section. White horse. There's lots of horse guards in here as well. Horse guards, horse guards. Yep, so they're charging, so get my light infantry and my my Varvada infantry to square, get my skirmishes away. It's like they're trying to go for my sixes. Which to be honest, they are They are allowed to do, because my six pounders and I'm running out of favour with my sixes. But they're going to hit that square formation, so get my guns re attacking. Yeah, we're about to hit. Ooh, my, my phone alarm is going off. Yeah, so we're going to hit this section. Hopefully, well, we are going to create a breach, which will be nice. Enemy guns are gone. Redirect my the fire of my 12s because it's only going to take one more how it's a shot for this section of the wall to collapse. So then everybody. Now oh, they've all hidden. Everybody attack this section of the wall here. How odd. Even so, that means they aren't moving. A oh, large chunk of men have fallen on the steps. Apparently I've heard it's because this gets... If this gets hit by artillery while men are on it, they, loads of them die. You think, look at that. I had no idea they were so fragile. How it's just shooting at the wrong things. The ninth flight horse have broken. My skirmishers are shooting to their backs. Let's keep speeding up time. Ah, oh, looks like they are going to escape. Sadly. Let's keep the keep the guns firing. Yeah, the, the enemy horse guards, we well, can tell, are just going to... Actually, it looks like the howitzers are just generally failing at attacking the wall. You can see they're going to run along my line, trying to find a breach or a gap or anything. And instead, they're just finding a bunch of guys in square formation. Just draw their cavalry out while we continue our bombardment. Excellent. What about this guy? Will he make it? Will this guy? No, no, he didn't make it. Nope, we got him. Actually, let's try to keep the keep the howitzers attacking this section of the wall just because it would speed things up greatly if we could just get inside. Well not that they really have any defences but it's just nice to split the defenders across two sections. Although it looks like my horse, my uh, artillery is electing to not do that. Yeah, they're going after my six pounders. Yeah, you can have them if you like. Oh no, last minute they it was a feint. They're not gonna go for the they're not gonna go for the sixes, they're gonna go for the square formation.
But I think when there's troops in the field, it's difficult for my artillery to do the right thing. I necessarily do what I want them to do. Ah, they're out of range. So fire with round shot. Oh, that's weird. Push my right flank up. Push my left flank up. Those horse guards aren't long for this world. There we go, my house is now hitting the wall. You idiots. Well, yeah, they've come back. But my light infantry will... Okay, hunker everyone down into squares again. Sixty-nine percent damage done, which is good. Hmm. These poor twenty-second horse guards are exhausted. There we go. We'll have our breach soon enough. Twenty-fourth have committed. But it looks like they're very much going to wish they weren't. Push my line up. And you guys also advance. There we go. We're going to make our breach. Then we're going to start attacking someone else hey we might hey we're gonna get some traps sweet stupid ai can my guns on the wall keep attacking them you guys blast cannonballs into the breach Hello, it's the 27th Horse Guards. I'm going to want my general over here. Plenty of cavalry in the centre. 27th Horse Guards, the 29th Horse Guards left. Remains to be seen where they're going to go. There we go. Poor devils. I get two units of Indelta to cover the front. I'm gonna get a Kurgan unit to secure. Sir! Sir! Our general oh, he's running through. Oh, he's running through a square formation. Ah. So you guys push up and threaten the 29th Horse Guards. Get all my Kurgan up here. To cover this walkway, get my light infantry on the on the on the walls to begin firing down into the centre. You men drop into squares. Keep my cavalry at home. 29th Horse Guard Curacier Regiment. Poor devils. You get my lifeguard. Both my lifeguard at that. Oh, they're continuing their attack. Look at this ballsy guy right here. Is anyone going to save this man? 
He doesn't need saving. They need saving from him. Let's push my cavalry up to secure the breach. You guys climb here. Light infantry climb here. Foot Jaeger climb here. 27th horse guards are back. Yeah, I'm going to need my general over here to secure this corner bastion because the morale on these units is pretty dire. You men climb, you men climb. How it's as limber and then push up. So there's another cavalry in it. Well, they've recovered and they're coming back. But let's push up my own, you know, my light horse. Not necessarily their best units. Looks like they're going to abandon this section of the wall. No. See, rather than running out of the wall, they're going to run through the breach inside. And it's like, no, definitely do not want you to do that. So you men form the square. Keep my light cavalry away because I'll break too easy. You've done it again. Look, they just want to run through the breach. They don't actually want to get up there. Well, you can get up there. Yes, yeah, so you secure the gates over here. Sure. Keep my cavalry ready to push through. Want my infantry up there to begin firing down into the center. Want my lifeguards to deploy, ready to get into the gate. Okay, the Delta unit to secure the gate. Kurgan and an Delta unit to secure this breach. Militia are going to push up here as well. General push up to here. Yeah, don't worry. My light infantry will have the advantage when they're up and ready. Brunswicker Fusiliers and the Guard Jaeger Company. I guess it's only I guess only one unit at a time can can attack this corner section, which is a bit of a bummer. But there we go. So you men are upset. Try run my cavalry in, because they're going to be pretty. Okay, they're not going to go through the breach because that's not secured. You guys run over here to secure the breach. Secure the gate because my guys weren't going to make it otherwise. Push my howitzer up. There we go, my cavalry is engaging their infantry. My Kurgan are going to have to push the breach. Let's get my 12s and make them cease fire. Get my militia. Yeah, get all of you guys over here. Because they won't. Well, they didn't run through previously because they were just going to run around and through here, which isn't the gates are terrible, ours. but it's just not what we want. To be fair, get my lifeguards to square off ready against the breach, get my militia in Delta to advance towards the centre, and get my cavalry in here and keep my general close. 
So this unit's enga being engaged because some men have run around the front. Get my Kurgan off the wall. Then the 60th are going to advance and charge them. My infantry have pushed around the rear. Twenty fourth light foot uh, positioning ready. Unfortunately, not all of my guys are running through the central gate. You men hit the Prussian fusiliers. You men hit the guard Jaeger. Get my general back here because that's where the fir the fisty cuffs are. Get my lifeguards up here. You men charge the, men the rear of the infantry the there. You men charge from the front. You men advance. My hussars are in. My generals fighting over near the breach against the 24th light foot and the guard jaeger there we go we've broken the guard jaeger we've broken the 39th you men make your way Sir, in our defenses are breached and failing no this is good for us remember my and delta secure the secure the center Oh yeah, the enemy of <laughs> they've broken at the front. Okay, so all it is is just these guys left at the top. The enemy general's bodyguard is out of commission. Okay, let's just speed up time because these guys ain't gonna rout. They're not gonna rout, and we can't get up there and get them. But it was worth, it was worth um, pinning them because that's the three a unit of musketeers, two musketeers, fatigued, three so musketeer units just that weren't involved in the battle. So the general's bodyguard did come general, back, sir. but now yeah, he's break. now out of commission. Excellent. So that's Berlin secured. We can begin to immediately replenish in the centre. We're going to peacefully occupy. Going to rebuild Berlin. So let's take Union of Twelve and Union of Hamilton back to Mr. Lundberg. Get the cavalry back in. Let's take Anders Ellison and send him over to Warsaw. Mr. Henriksen, you can attack this small force. Okay, and stay where you are just to cover this bridge so they don't go whoop. You men push forward and attack that little stack there. Yep. Yeah. And fall back. And then my other plan, my other dastardly plan that I implemented, was this army was going to embark and then go for Königsberg, which will take a bit of time. If you're getting over, then keep the infantry recruitment going over here in the east Mr. Samuelson you're getting ready to be sent and obviously we, are, we have been fighting over here in Britain we can't chase anyone down but let's take a punt and build a sloop to help garrison this harbour still rebuilding a couple of buildings in London but this army is in full strength Mr. Backstrom is replenishing got lots of buildings being up Graded. But apart from that, I'm also going to send you chaps up to the border, up to the port, ready for emb embarkation because. Oh, and Magdeburg, we don't need you anymore. We're going to build you into a supply dump or um, musket manufactory, whichever one provides the best in replenishment. Yep, there goes our trade fleet, but again, we don't need it because we have the financial might of all of Western Europe. 
So losing a handful of commodities is now no longer as decisive as it previously was. Early game it was quite important because we needed to expand into Europe pretty quick because either we were going to be stomped by France or Russia was going to start to cause problems. But as it is, we are, we're the ones doing the stomping now. So Prussia is consolidating. Little raiding army to the south, which is annoying. I hope they don't. We hope they don't go for Munich. Well, I'm going to send an army down there, south towards the south anyway. Prussia is re reconstituting their main armies. Ooh, hope. Oh, I remember what happened last time. Retreat. Back, you chaps, go to Dresden. Good, because then we will send an army to lay siege to Dresden to allow us to push troops past the front. They, or they've gone towards Castle, and they're going to be in uh, ambush mode, so we need to be a bit careful. I mean, my army to the south is going to go, hey, that, uh, there's a cavalry unit that was making its way all the way around the uh, through Europe. Then they can stay there. Gives me a bit of visibility of what's going on in Russia, at least. Yep, and then the Ottomans declared on us. And let's see if the Russians join us or them. They join us, which means the Ottomans immediately have a huge problem because they've got a front line with Russia. Wop wop. Army sabotaged. Well, I mean, it's just a, just a cavalry unit, but whatever. Upgrade you, upgrade you. East Arm Quest, move up. What I do remember is you guys. If you leave Cardiff, you can make it to London, and that allows Mr. Breck to advance and engage Elbert Knight. But you guys need to move east just to keep London happy, mostly. Everyone except your guns can get there, so send everyone first. The guns can join. <clears throat> the guns can join them afterwards. Sorry about that. And so we are going to fight that battle. That's it's actually that battle that it crashed on last time. So these are all my um, trade fleets destroyed. Cavalry is continuing to mass. You guys dump all your troops off the coast. So you guys need a light cavalry. You guys need a light cavalry. Mr. Samuelson can take all the infantry. Five slots left. Excellent. This is one more slot left. So Oleg, recruit another, recruit a Dragoon unit just to give you two cavalry. Finland is still recruiting. Let's get my troops back. Let's get Nutskofus embarked, ready to sail to attack Konigsberg from the east. So in Europe, this force can't leave Schwerin because they're still very upset. Feasibly, you guys could actually hold that. This force is going to do a bit of protection to the rear, so they're going to get ready to, to attack and destroy this Chevrolet force. Then they're going to go north and trigger the ambush. Uh, it's a supply post I want. Yes, increased replenishment. You men put Dresden under siege, but do not attack. To trick them somewhat. Mr. Langre can advance towards Stettin. Mr. Lundberg can advance out front of Berlin. And suddenly, well, you guys can... Well, you hold the bridge... Because the, these two forces both need to replenish from taking Prague. There's a Prussian army to the south, but it's tempting to take. Well, when if Mr. Langre can get into range next turn, put Stettin under siege, you guys push forward to secure this bridge. Then another force can push up and hit Breslau, while at the same time we're hitting Konigsberg from the north here. That's pretty awesome. Um, but... I think the main... <laughs> like, is that general's name literally Large Crook? <laughs> but it's Large Crook. Well, which to me, 
It's pretty similar. But let's take Mr. Breck and attack Albert Knight in England. A very elite force he's got. Royal Engineers, lots of cavalry. Coldstream Guards, Veteran Line, Veteran Line, Regiment of Foot, Regiment of Foot, Scots Guards, two units of Royal Engineers. Let's take him out. Let's take him out, and then we're going to have two armies pushing up towards Scotland, and then one will probably cross the Irish Sea and hit Dublin at the same time. And then there'll be Britain destroyed, and then we'll have three armies that will rest, recuperate, and then advance. They will sail to Finland. No good terrain for my guns. So my 12s are going to stay behind the line. My 6s are going to advance up into the line. Get my Indelta plus a Svenska Guard and Life Grenadier on the left. Uh, my Finska troops, Life Guard, Svenska Guard and both my Light Infantry Light infantry units are on the right. Keep the cavalry split up. Howitzers are going to follow the front line, as is the general. Let's get my line advancing. Although it looks like they might, the bulk of their troops might be over here because there's another mine. Send my cavalry out to try scout. Teensy bit of higher ground on the right, but not nothing that's decisive. My 12s are just going to be in a defensive position behind my line. Okay, we've got a bit of visibility. We've seen that we've, we've found their cavalry. A lot of cavalry. Is that the Royal Engineers? There's the Royal Engineers. They're going to play stakes. Let's make a bit of a punt. Because even though six pounders don't necessarily have a fantastic range. That should be doable, in theory. Let's speed up time. Let's see if my sixes do engage at that distance. There they go. This they are. Pound them. How it just can unlimber. Fools. It's a lot. It's a big cavalry charge, though. When it comes, more artillery inbound. Okay, now their infantry is starting to show themselves. So it's barrage canister shot. Because ultimately, when you're drop, dropping the guns in the line, there is a perpetual risk. My light horse go attack their general. It's 
squares across the line. Again, like if I lose my sixes, that's okay. Sixes aren't super good. Yeah, I guess their generals have advanced up too far. Now they must break. And my cavalry is also going to go after their general. Ultimately, I think that's a good trade. We've destroyed... We've lost our sixes. But we've destroyed their cavalry force. So they are moving up infantry to try and take advantage of that loss. So run you men into the next square, because you've the square has been broken. Any troop, that's my Svenska Guard. But as soon as they get out of being hit by. Okay, right, call my cavalry back. That's where there is where their artillery is hiding. Yeah, you, you men form a defensive square behind the light infantry. Aha, we have found their, their line. My 12 pounders positioned, ready to, t ready to get into the, the fight. You men retreat at speed. Although you could prob you could. No, you're not. You're not gonna win. You've definitely just lost a bunch of morale. Right off the bat. You haven't even fought yet. Stop my Svenska Guard from shooting. Get my light cavalry back. Demon dropping the square again because the horse guards are still here. This is my general. Keep them close. The third horse guards have got quite a drubbing. Men create a new front line facing the right direction. Your men's job is to act as a bulwark against all of this cover. It's loose on the flank. Running, Foot guards, eh? I'm going limp my artillery and I'll make space for them later. You do it now. That's the enemy cavalry attrited on the flank. You guys, canister shot, fifth foot guards at point blank range. You men fire at will again. Keep my light horse away. See, they're advancing towards my line. go. How it's a fire engage the, the, the rear line. My cavalry counter deploy against the 10th light horse. Or counter charge the 10th light horse. They're running the wrong way. Look at that. Come this way. That's the 10th light horse done. You men form lines, it looks like. 
No, they're just reorientating their line. 112s. Pound the four foot guards. Hey, my sixes actually came back. Blast them! Killed one guy with that shot. Another guy. Can't really afford to wait too long. Good how it's a shot right into their line. So these are veterans, the 22nd, the 17th, veterans, foot guards. Don't worry, when we advance on you guys, we're going to come at you with everything we got. One last canister shot. Okay, where's my cavalry? We may reach a point where we begin to engage the left flank. The Scots guards on this flank. Go on foot guards, engage the... There we go, my Svenska guard came back as I knew they would. You may as well just take time in dismantling this foot guard unit while it's right here. My artillery is doing a bit of damage. Yeah, there's my six pounder crew. Okay. We have our front line. Sixes fire it will off. The main focus is going to be on fixing them. Actually, let's get my light horse over here to knock out this artillery. Not that it's doing anything, but just to make sure that it's gone. So our strength is going to be this flank to wrap around. But they're aware, so they they keep... Oh no, they might actually get into our trap. Not our trap, per se, but... There we go. So we're going to wrap around the third foot guards. You men advance that side of the mine. You men advance that side of the mine. Get the cavalry. Aha! Okay. Oh, they got. Okay, right. Get in. Get in. Because otherwise, that otherwise that those guns are going to rout you. I've got my heavies behind because they're going to rout my cavalry but we at least hit their guns get my cavalry up here rapidly there we go. my heavy cavalry shouldn't be so easily cowed Lots of dying horses, and I hope it's the British horses. B 
We have to charge because they're getting so close to our line. My guys might route, but it looks like it might be the enemy Coldstream Guards that break, which they did. Charge the cavalry into the 9th Regiment. Keep attacking the Coldstream Guards. You've shattered their forces over here. Get my Light Cavalry back as well. Push up our line. Push up Mr. Breck. Yeah, walk our other cavalry back. Okay, the main cavalry withdraw. My main focus was making sure I get the Coldstream Guards gone. The third foot guards, the Scots guards, they look upset. And they're not shooting straight ahead, so advance my line up much closer. You men advance up like so. Foot guards stay back in reserve. But there we go. So we managed to dissect their force, evade their defences. The third foot guards will soon not be long for this world. My guys are in I'm quite close now. Ooh, friendly fire. Cease fire. New men hit the veteran regiment there. The th foot guards are broken. You men withdraw carefully away. Glorious victories, huh? Is the twenty second are gone. See these are elite troops. Not elite enough. These are the Royal Engineers. Oh no. With my light infantry. Hello. Get my light cavalry back to attack the foot guards, but my light infantry see this. Yeah, there you go. There's your engineering officer. There's Major Hogan. They form. That's their little version. Their version of a square. It is. New men charge the 17th Regiment because they're about to hit your line. Yeah, they managed to rout my light cavalry. You charge that unit in the flank. Slaughter them. And my heavy cavalry get in here hit the foot guards who have also broken. Excellent. So you men are executing the third foot guards as they flee. But there we go. That's a good, good victory. It's pushed another, which well, destroyed another British army and sent them scuttling back to the north. Okay, then you can hit Mr. Collingwood and destroy the remaining cavalry units. So Mr. Breck, he is a confident general, and he's also a brave soldier, and he's also steady under fire. So this guy, he's doing good stuff at 23 years of age. So you do have Mr. Wellesley right here. But there we go, Rune, Rune Armquist, Mr. Breck are going to advance up towards the front, and obviously because we now own all this territory, 
they're going to be replenishing pretty damn quick. Yeah, I remember that army sabotage. I think that's everything. You've got the southern flank covered. We're sieging at Prague. You men could theoretically advance, but we may as well go steady. Let's not attempt to boil the ocean. You're going to raid everything now. Only my ships. Ah, so they're going to attack us at Dresden and force the army to come out and defend them. Well, looking at the time, man, because battles in this game take so damn long, um, I'm going to win the episode here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the defence um, around Dresden of the army of Hal Alvester Henriksen. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed.